Less than a day before the U.S. deadline to withdraw its troops from Afghanistan, as many as five rockets were reportedly fired at Kabul airport, and at least some of them were intercepted by the U.S. missile defense system. Also, a U.S. drone strike on a would-be suicide bomber has reportedly killed multiple civilians. Kim Jian reports. Multiple rockets were reportedly fired at Kabul's international airport on Monday, but were intercepted by the U.S. missile defense system. Citing a U.S. official, Reuters reported as many as five rockets were fired early Monday, Kabul time. The report said it hasn't been verified whether all of the rockets were intercepted. Other media reports cited eyewitnesses saying there were three rocket blasts, followed by gunshots. Initial reports did not indicate any U.S. casualties. Earlier on Sunday, American forces launched drone strikes in Kabul targeting a suicide bomber in a vehicle who was aiming to attack the airport. CNN and the Associated Press reported civilian casualties, including several children due to the blasts following the drone attack. It was 5 p.m. when I heard a sound, and then another loud one. I was doing ablutions, and I quickly came to the neighbor's house. And when I entered the house, I noticed that a rocket had hit the vehicle. We took children and women out of the house through a neighbor's house. Navy Captain Bill Urban, a spokesperson for U.S. Central Command, which oversees U.S. forces in the Middle East and Afghanistan, said the military was aware of reports of civilian casualties and had launched investigations. He said additional blasts following the drone strike are proof that explosives have been loaded onto the vehicle. This is the second known U.S. response to last Thursday's suicide bomb attack outside Kabul airport that killed 13 American troops and nearly 200 Afghan civilians. The U.S. military said it had conducted an airstrike against the Islamic State in Afghanistan on Saturday, likely killing an extremist leader described as a planner for the organization. In an interview with CNN, a Taliban spokesperson strongly condemned the U.S. conducting military operations on foreign soil, adding it should have notified the group in advance. Flight evacuations continue to take place amid increasing concerns of further attacks on Kabul airport as the U.S. enters its final phase of Afghanistan troop withdrawal ahead of the August 31st deadline. Kim Jian, Arirang News.